Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. So, while I sit here, you are going to go and carry on where you left off last time. Enjoy! Boom! And we have a very f- <gasps> Oh, I cannot believe the luck we have been getting lately with all of these blue drops. Like, seriously, it's insane! How do we get so many blue creatures? And, and we got another blue pet. <laughs> this is fantastic. Okay, I'm going to throw the leech seed onto this one. Just to start with. And, and we'll see how that gets on. I don't know if you can remove the leech seed later. No, that stays. Deal 77 every round. The caster of the aura is healed for 100% of the damage dealt. Um, how long does it stay? Seed lasts for one round. Right, now it's gone. Okay, so he's he's healed back up with some of the damage that was done by the Amethyst Shell Hatchling in the first place. So that, I'm going to say, is a pretty good thing. We've now got the crate that we can go and use. Um, we've cut... You know, I, I do think that we've cut that pretty fine. I mean, that... that Poor Amethyst Shell Hatching there at 49 health. Admittedly, we do have the Weakening Blow. So, like, that's, we were using that. Um, it's not really going to do, like, massive amounts of damage. We don't have these other two either. I'm just going to keep going with the Leech Seed and the other ones. Do a little bit of damage like that. That's going to heal me up a little bit. We've got Sunlight right there, which uh, increases... Healing is increased by 50%. So if I throw that one down, then we'll also get a bit of healing from that. And that should increase the amount that we get from it. Which is a good thing. As long as we don't kill that one in the cage. Really don't want to kill that one in the cage. Uh, just looking. No, it increases the, the overall health of everybody. Right. As long as it just increases the overall health of everybody, we should be fine. I can't actually kill it with this one, because it'll do that there, and it leaves it with one health, and I've, I've got to wait until that one, so I'm just going to switch out the pet now, I'm going to switch over to this one, and we're going to hope that we can, we'll just finish, actually we'll do it with that one, we'll build the turret this time, put that turret down, and that will finish that one off, and then we're one step closer to getting two turrets up for that one, we'll just punch it with this, there. He's going to do us a bit of damage. He's probably going to call down the Apocalypse this time. That would be my guess. They do normally call that one down pretty quickly. Um, there we go. There's the Apocalypse. That one's coming in. 15 rounds. As that's going to bring up another turret. We're going to put down a second turret. Not that we need it. Uh, he doesn't have an ability that's going to be able to remove everything that's done. So, yeah. That, that's, that's all done. Amethyst. Shale Hatchling right there. We had Jamie Burt, who's been following us around, the Oasis Moth. Uh, oh, okay. Right there. Uh, we, we will get this Amethyst Shale Hatchling back to uh, safety in just a moment. It's very important that we... Oh, that, that's, that's not ours. That's, that's just a, a random one that happens to be nearby. thought that might have been ours. Maziel's Research begins a quest right there. The book you found appears to detail some form of research carried out by a member of the Twilight's Hammer. It deals with the oozes in some way, but there are multiple pages missing. Perhaps if you found additional notes, you might be able to make sense of it. Uh, obtain four research notes from mercurial oozes in the upper marsh. Well, that wasn't even from a moose. Uh, from, from a moose? From, from an ooze. That was from a Merkstone trog. Quite sure why it's that way around. But anyway, that's, that's fine. Uh, not the adventure guide. No, I want this one right here. Actually, I don't want that one yet. I want to go there. And then I want to click to view that one in the journal. So there is our new pet, the Amethyst Shell Hashing. That one's going to go there instead of Jamie Burt. Sorry, Jamie. You've had your time in the sun. You've had your time to shine. And I'm looking at my list. James Collins. Except James Collins, the Amethyst Shale Hatchling, in blue, no less, is now our faithful companion who will follow us through thick and thin 
deep into the most dangerous of environments, and he will be our steadfast ally at all times. Or at least until he gets, you know, killed or we find someone better. You know, that, 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 that sort of thing. But, uh, you know, the, the thought is there. The thought is definitely there. Uh, let's just bring that one in over there. And then I'll throw that down. I've got a trog over there. I've got a trog down over there. Uh, I'll throw that down. And now I can start really bringing the pain. Actually, I, uh, apparently I'm just going to start experiencing the pain and not bringing the pain. This, this is what we're all about today. Ooh, disorient. Three seconds? No, 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 no. Nothing like that. We, we don't want none of that nonsense. Flash of light. The uh, troglodyte smash. That's the... Okay, this is this is really bad. Uh, that one. That one. There we go. Right. Ooh, I was a bit concerned there. I'm, I'm facing the wrong way. This is why it's not working. I'm facing the wrong way. They, they, they'd gotten around behind me with, with my whole, like, disorientation type effect. Uh... It's not good. It's not a good way to be. Seeping Quicksilver deals damage every second. Will be transformed if too much Quicksilver is absorbed. What do I get trans... I oh, get that's the disorientated effect. That's what I get. That's, that's what transformed me. I think. Pretty sure that's what, what happened. Right, we're going to leave the crate for a minute. And we're going to head over this way, and we're going to see if this was indeed the thing that happened. This I'm whole... out of range. Quick, so, ooh, 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 I'm spinning round too fast. There, we'll take you, and we'll take you like that. And I'll throw that down, and then I'll get another one of them. Okay, bring your mercurial ooze to me. Bring it to me. You will... Get transformed if too much is absorbed. What is too much? This is the big question. What is too much? Let's heal up again. Mercurial absorption is four times. And it's dealing damage every second as well, which is not a good... There we go. Disoriented. Ah, confused. Quicksilver corruption. I've been turned into a mercurial ooze. That's what happened there. Right, let's, let's heal this up. Let's, let's do this again. I want to see this. I want to see me turn into one of these things. There's two. I think it's four. There's three. There's a third one on its way. And that one as well. There's four. How long How long does it go before I before I get the next one? Bring another one. Bring it. Bring, bring another one. Mercurial absorption. Five. There we go. Look, I've turned into a giant mercurial ooze. I'm mercury personified. Well, that was fun. Okay, right. Well, we've done that bit. We've found out what happened. I don't have a target. And we'll just bring this one. There we go. Right, we finished you off. I've got two more Twilight pages. I still need one more. Still need to find one more. Uh, there's a bite to eat. Get the tad hungry over here. And I don't see any more. I need mercurial oozes because the, the, the troglodyte things that they're, they're no good for this. Even though the first one was the one that was carrying the bit that we wanted. The rest of them it doesn't seem to be. It's, it's those over there. We, we've got to go with that bad boy over there. Right. Very well. We will go with that bad boy over there. There's two of them. I see two of them. We will go straight for them. I'll run up through there, and I've got one over there. i got one right there. I'm going to hope that these two are going to be sufficient. We will take these down, and we will work fast to bring these down. We will assume that they are going to do bad things with their mercury if we allow them to. I need a target. There we go. All right. Okay. Didn't have the pages. What's the betting if I'd gone and taken the time to pull these two into combat? We'd have had like six of them drop. That's normally what happens. Is I is all or nothing. RNG does the same every time. Is always all or nothing. That's your, that's your results. All or nothing. Okay, I didn't actually need to taunt him into me, but still, he's here now. That's what counts. There's that one down, and then you right there. You can hit you with a shield there. And yes. Okay. There's the notes. Ooh. Got a green offhand as well. What's this? Uh, 
No, that's not quite good enough. Okay, Twilight Research. You scroll through the notes, trying to put them in order. The notes deal with High Cultist Maziel's research on the elemental properties of Quicksilver. His obsession with the subject borders on the insane. We've leveled up, level 89, we've got one to go, and then we can head off to ancient history. We really can. Trust me on this. Uh, the notes continue Maziel... Well, not ancient history, but history. Anyway. Uh, the, yep, 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 yep. the notes continue Maziel's rambling research into the properties of Quicksilver and Mercurial oozes. He appears to have made a major discovery. He mentions hiding his journal in the Lower Silver Marsh to the southwest. Right, we have a special thing to go and find in just a minute. Don't worry about it right now, because right now we're going to go over here and we're going to get the crate that I've seen sitting around over there. Get you. Troll crate. You no take crate. I will take the crate. You cannot stop me. You think you can stop me? Your brethren tried. They failed. I will take the crate. Right, where's my crate? Have we got the crate? There's my crate. Right, use hide beneath the trog crate. Six second cooldown. Um, do I need to go in here? Quite sure where I need to go for this. Right, am I supposed to... Is, there's a bit over here. There's an ogre bodyguard over there. Hmm. This should fool the enemy if you can sub... Oh, you have a trog crate on your head. This should fool the enemy if you can sub uh, submerge the rest of your body. So what we need to do is we need to submerge the rest of our body over here. Like that. There is Milhouse Bannerstorm. He's um a bad guy, but I, I need to actually get closer. Go in here. Ah, there we go. We had to get close enough. That's all we needed to do. Millhouse Man of Storm. He's a bad guy. He's a very bad guy. Who is... Who's she? Forge Master! I've been informed the enemy has disrupted your operations. Where is the fragment? The fragment is now in the dragon's custody, ma'am. The dragon's custody? Well who? done. Meet me inside the stone core for further instructions. <laughs> oh, of course, ma'am. At once. Right, I remember um, now where I've seen if her. you don't mind me asking, how did we manage to recover the fragment? How did we infiltrate our enemy's forces without their knowledge? <laughs> Let's just say we have friends in high places, Forge Master. Oh dear. Friends in high places is not good. Because friends in high places strongly suggests that... Let's just swim away from that lot. Strongly suggests it's an inside job. And that's really bad for us. We have the information we need. Let's not tip our hand by engaging the enemy too soon. Uh, yeah, I remember where I've seen her before. She's the final boss in the stone core, by the way. Uh, the dungeon that's in here. It's at the top of there. No, it's not there. Where is it? It's here somewhere. It's at the top. I can't see because I'm in the water. Oh, is it over there? It's any anyway, the pillar in the middle is a dungeon at the top of it. At uh, the dragon is speaking of the uh, the dragon is speaking of is Abyssian Grandorn. Oh wait, is she speaking to us? Um Oh, no, he's speaking to us, isn't he? He speaks to us through his connection. Right. The dragon they're speaking of is Abyssian, Grundorn. It's not going to be easy to get the fragment off of him. Meet with... M uh, Milra? Is that Milra? Yeah, Milra. Meet with Milra again. She's operating nearby at Twilight Overlook. She will tell you what our next move will be. Right. Lasso Danny has achieved 500 quests. Very well done, sir. Right. Airborne. 
down through this way. So we've got one quest to do down here. We need to speak to Stormcaller Milra at the Twilight Overlook in Deepholm, which is there. But we've also got the other one to do here at the Silver March, which is Maziel's Revelation, which is down there. It's closer to us. That's the one that we want to do. It's down here in the lower Silver Marsh. And what have we got here? We've got, like, crystals and stuff like that. We've got Amethyst Shell Hatching. We have one of those. A blue quality Amethyst Shell Hatchling by the name of James Collins. Busy following us around. And, oh, it's over here. Right there. Ah, there we go. So we've got that one mercurial ooze. We take this mercurial ooze out here. That should allow us to just get that little book right there and see what else we've got to do. Um, there's a cave nearby here. I'm pretty sure I've seen a cave. A corroded skull. It always worries me. There's a cave over there. I'm betting that this one will send us into that cave. Maziel's journey appears to be undamaged by the mercury. Maziel's journal con... Uh, chronicles a ritual of ascendancy that would transfigure his body into one of pure quicksilver. The ritual would take place in a cave near the lower silver marsh, where Maziel would feed upon the mercurial oozes until achieving full strength. Perhaps it is not too late to put an end to his madness. How is it we always turn up in the nick of time? Always. It doesn't matter what's going on. We always turn up right in the nick of time to put an end to their madness. I mean, yes, don't get me wrong. This is a good thing. We do want to put an end to their madness. Uh, someone turning into a giant being made entirely of mercury is probably not the best thing for anything at all, really. I can't see that it's going to be beneficial to anybody. Oh, wait, so down here we've got Amethyst Shell Hatching, we've got Topaz Shell Hatching, Crimson Shell, and Emerald Shell. So there's quite a collection of different Shell Hatchlings. You've got all these different coloured ones. Um, I wonder if we get a blue quality of each and every one of them. Because of our ability to deal damage to everybody that deals damage to us, this Quicksilver thing is just going to keep following us, isn't it? It's going to keep going and going and going and going. Right, Maziel is actually below us. And not up here, so we're going to want to jump down. So we'll go... Well, ah, here we go. Can we go that way? I'm going through here. I'm about to be turned... There's, there's Maziel right there. I'm about to be turned into this stuff. As soon as I'm unturned, I jump down here to take... 20, but I'm down to 20%. This isn't good. Okay, I'm going to do that. I not defend it. And I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do that, which I should have done first. And then I'm going to do that. I'm going to put that down, and I'm going to start taking you. It's and too far I'm away. also going to then run over here. I may as well take the boss as well. Grundorn Jenkins. Take him down, and that one there. Okay, we're taking everything now. Here we go. Now, this is more like it. This is more like it. This is what we do. We, we just go all or nothing. All or nothing. That's what we need to do. Right there. I'll take that one. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's, what's with all these extras? I don't want extras. No one said anything about extras. This, okay, Maziel is actually relatively easy to take down. There. Revolting Ica and a little bit of gold. Maziel's ascendancy. You've disposed of an enemy before he could grow more powerful. By eliminating Maziel, you've also ensured that his powers will not be used against the Earthen Ring. Mercury Treads are not much of an upgrade, so we will just keep hold of those. We won't do anything else with them. And we've got right there an albino cavefish school. That's what all of that is. There is nothing else. Um, I am very tempted to go and get one of these. Amethyst. Amethyst, that uh, probably not much point in going for those, really, considering that we've already got a blue quality amethyst shell hatchling. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to fry them, just because I can. I'm nice like that. We'll we'll see about getting an, uh, another um, hatchling in a little while. Where is our friend? James Collins! Where are you? There he is. There is James Collins in all his glory. I'm going to pop that down again and fry some more of them. Uh, which way do I need to go? I want to get out of here. I want to leave. I don't want to be stuck down here any longer. We actually need to go and speak to Stormcaller. Well, I said it was Myera when I was speaking, but it's Milra, isn't it? It's Milra or, uh, yeah, Mi Milra, I would say. 
Uh, I can't use that one because these guys are chasing me. And they will probably spend a very long time chasing me because of the damage that I slowly do to them over time. I'm going to see if I can run away from them. So my aim now is to just to see if I can actually escape the oozes without them... Like, with, 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 are they, are they going to get bored? Are they... Okay, there's two of them have gone, two of them have left. I've got four charges of this mercurial ooze thing. Five charges. I'm about to, yeah, turn into one of those things. It's really not helping. Deep home cockroach right there. That one. I don't have that at all. I'm gonna leave it anyway. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go for it now. We we'll come back. We'll, we'll go for more pets later. Still chasing me. Still doing damage. If you can stop chasing me and doing damage. Any day, any time now, I, d I don't mind. Any time at all. Honestly, I don't mind if you stop attacking me. I'm, I'm not going to be upset with you. I'm really not. Oh, have, have they run away? I'm going to run down. I'm going to die. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to die falling down here. I'm out of combat. I'm out of combat now. Okay, mead-basted caribou. I'm going to sit and I'm going to eat that. And I'm also going to have a little drink myself. I'm thinking the meat basic caribou we need to upgrade. That requires level 70 and we're level 89. Uh, it takes quite a long time to heal us up to full health using that stuff. So I'm thinking that we want to be doing an upgrade fairly soon. Right. Stormcaller Milra. She's over here. Past the lower silver marsh. And on into the Twilight Throne area. We go high. We go way up here so that they don't spot us. We will creep past them like this. And she's up here somewhere. Right up in the top. The Twilight Overlook. We're overlooking the Twilight. Aha. Look. Oh, look. We've got like... The, the, there's friendly people here. Earthen Ring Shaman. We've got a whole load of Twilight's Hammer Prisoners. And do we have a flight point up here? Is that a thing? That doesn't appear to be a thing. I don't think... Oh, no. There is. No. That's a, that's a fungal moth. We don't appear to have any other flight point in here. We don't have a we don't appear to have a flight point full stop in here. You got a, a portal. That's it. I suppose it does kind of make sense. We're in a big cave down here. It's, it's a little things May are a bit different. Ancestors, watch over you. We'll defeat the Twilight's hammer whenever wherever they may hide. Not even the elemental planes will be a safe haven for their kind. So we're going to have to take on Abyssian to get the fragment. This operation just got a whole lot more difficult all of a sudden. Right. We're only going to get one shot at capturing Abyssian Grandorn. That's, let's make it count. And we'll test out the trap on the biggest of the stone dragons in the Alabaster Shelf. To lure the stone matriarch, we're going to need to gather sufficient bait. Take this knife and carve five sides of basilisk meat. That ought to be enough even for her appetite. Having a dragon guard the fragment was a smart move on the enemy's part. They can keep they can keep moving its location any time we get close to it. Catching Abyssian will be extremely difficult, but I have a plan that might help. The Twilight's hammer uses magical traps to bind stone drakes to the ground while they drain their energy. If we can get our hands on one of these, we might be able to ground, ground the Twilight dragon for just long enough. Go east of here to the alabaster shelf and obtain a trap. You say that this is Millhouse Manastorm and High Priestess Azil were to meet inside the stone core? Sounds big. We'd best get on their trail. We don't want the Twilight's Hammer pulling off something big right under our noses. Speak to Earth Warden Ursa inside the stone core and make sure uh, she's been stationed there to make sure the Twilight's Hammer doesn't try to retake the Temple of Earth. Right, so we have got a quest. Oops. Keep pressing the wrong buttons. L. No, not E. Yes, L. L is the one that I want. Okay, we make that. Uh, no, we make that smaller again. We go back here. So we got the stone core one right there. That's the one that I want. I want to untrack it because I don't actually want to track it. So that's inside the stone core. It's a dungeon one. That's the one that we don't want. So Twilight Snare right there. Uh, we want. Obtain a trap. From there, and we need the five sides of basilisk meat with the knife that we've got, and that is over that side. So we've 
Right, well, we'll go both of them over this way. Are they both over this way? Yes. We want both of them over this... No, one of the... Well, wait, wait, wait. One of them is... No, they're both over here. We can do both of them over this side. It's fine. We can do them both down here. We can slide them on down here. And we've got these... Stone scale strikes. Uh, uh, oh, I see. Right, okay. Well, we want to take out... I need to get closer. Put that down there like that and take you and take you over here like this and then get all four of these and I should be able to take these down pretty quickly without too much trouble there we've got that one down and I've got more bolts and stuff coming through but no they haven't they don't stand chance. you're down and I get a bit more. I don't there, a okay, you're down. Uh, we got one of those. We got Ember Silk. We got a Twilight Snare, which we needed. I got two Twilight Snares. I don't need a second one, so I'll leave that one behind. We can stay there. And I now need to find these... Ba oh, there's the Basilisks. There's one right there. I can see it right in front of me. So we will take you, Jade Crest Basilisk. Have we got any more? Oh, there's another one. I'm out of range. Fantastic. Pick you up as well, and I go for a little wander and see if I can find any more of them. I cannot. There's no more here at the moment. Okay, fine. We will take. We will stand toe to toe against these two, and we will do epic and noble battle against them. Well, they actually turn my insides into my outsides, which is probably not the best thing that we want. We we don't really want that right now. Uh, basilisk liver, ridged basilisk fang, and roasted basilisk skin. So then if I do that, and I do that, and I do that, and I go there, like that. So I've got two sides of meat. But now I've got a stone away. scale drake, who's very kindly dropped in on the party and decided to have a little chat with me as well. Which I think, quite frankly, is a little bit rude. I don't think there's any need for that. There's no need for that, sunshine. You didn't need to. Dragon flanks. I think there's a lot you can do with dragon flanks, if I remember correctly. I don't think there is. I mean, there may be. It may be sort of a useful type thing, but um, I seem to remember that they were one of the more worthless forms of meat. A lot of the meats in Cataclysm, they very quickly wound up being completely worth. But then it's he does with away. a lot of the expansions. Like, there's only certain ones that people seem to ever want, and then the rest of them, nobody does anything. But he got. This wonderful thing with the cooking and, and all the extra buffs and everything that you can get from it, but nobody ever uses it. And so these, like, it, it, it's really just, it ends up becoming a roleplay situation rather than anything else. And to me, that's ultimately rather disappointing. Movement speed reduced. Oh, I see, right. Um, it, it is kind of disappointing that um, it all becomes just a roleplay thing and not actually beneficial to the game to get all these different types of meat and things like that. Um, there's no real purpose to go to get and get closer. it all. Um, and I always I always end up being disappointed by that. I always do. It's, it's a thing that I've, but I've always felt this way. Whenever I played this game, it's like you've got all of these different um, boosts and bonuses and uh, everything else that you can get and all of these different items and almost all of them end up being completely and totally worthless. I would, I've, I've said it before in this series, and I will say it again, I would so dearly love to see some, um, like, big epic quests. Not this, not, not like that. Well, unfortunately, I'm going to have to interrupt things here because that is all we've got time for today. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.